Yes, all right. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Tinta. Wherever you are, please subscribe to this channel as early as possible because we, I have the latest information when it comes to the world of sports. So today, uh, we're going to be talking about Arsenal uh, versus Manchester United, uh, the probable lineup, predictions, tactics, team news, and uh, what we think and plus my prediction of the game. Arsenal will look to regain the 8-point advantage at the top when they face Manchester United who want to close the gap to the Gunners. The Emirates brass itself to a mouth clash between Arsenal and Manchester and uh, Mikel Arteta is eager to regain their 8-point advantage in his team before the midweek fix fixture involving Man City who beat uh, Tottenham. The Gunners uh, come in this clash in flying form after beating rivals Tottenham last weekend. An own, an own goal from Spurs captain Hugo Lloris and a stunning strike from Arsenal's keeper uh, Martin sealed the points. The winner uh, extended the advantage to the eight half, uh, points after Manchester City lost in the Manchester derby. The recent arrival of Leonardo Sadro will boost the uh, Teta squad options, which uh, needed more uh, depth in the attacking departure department. It will be a crucial factor against uh, Manchester United as Arsenal seeks to revenge uh, for the loss at Old Trafford earlier in the season. As this stands, Manchester United are the only team to beat Arsenal this season, and Eric Ten Hagen will hope uh, for a repeat performance from October. The Dutch manager may have wanted this clash at Emirates to be at top of the table of flair, but his team dropped points in the midweek against Crystal Palace. They were on the caps of the narrow uh, one win before Michael Olise stepped back up in an injury time to score from a brilliant free kick. Additionally, key a midfielder Casemiro picked up a costly yellow card late in the game that will see him miss the Emirates clash. Arsenal, the team news. Arsenal do not have any fresh injury concerns as uh, Mikel Arteta is likely to have an exchange, uh, unchanged lineup from the North London derby. Gabriel Jesus will remain on the sidelines for the unseeable future with a knee injury. And uh, Nelson is also out of action. So, um, the probable lineup of uh, Arsenal is 4-2-3-1. Uh, Ateta will pick the strongest lineup, which essentially picks itself at the stage of the season. Moreover, Arsenal uh, managed to uh, register new arrivals on time for the weekend uh, action. Hence, he will feature on the substitute bench. Unlike the clash at Old Trafford, Ateta will have Thomas Party for this game, with the midfield providing his importance throughout uh, the campaign. In the tack, Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli will continue supporting Edin Ketia, with Odegaard providing ammunition from slightly behind so we are seeing ramsdale in the goal ben white saliba gabdiel zichenko pate zaka saka odegaard martinelli and nketia so when you look at your screen that is uh the four two three one lineup and um we are expecting all those guys to be on the team of Arsenal, Ramsdale, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel Zichenko, Pate, Saka, Zaka, Odegaard, Martinelli, and Nketiah. So when we head to Manchester, uh, Manchester United, this is the probable lineup that uh, Eric Ten Hagen is going to be featuring in uh, in today's game, and uh, so we are expecting uh, uh, something like that. Yes, we are expecting something like that. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, yeah, we are expecting something like that. Um, the loss of Casemiro to suspension was a big blow for Manchester United. Eric Ten Hagen may implement his plan B for midfield, which may involve Fred Ericsson, uh, Fred Christian Ericsson partnership. The two can be effective and they are the potential solution to play Scott McTonye uh, Scott McTonay, uh, centrally. Diego uh, Dalot and Anthony uh, Marshall are huge uh, doubts for the Emirates trip. When Ter uh, he uh, Ten Hagen spoke to the press on Wednesday, he insisted the duo will go through an assessment. 
but so far there's nothing to suggest they may regain fitness. Aaron Wan Bisaka with us continue at the right back regardless of the pedigree's availability. Manchester lineup uh, is a uh, 4-2-3-1 De Gea, Wan Bisaka, Varani, Martinez, Luke Shaw, Eric, Freddy, Anthony, Bruno Fernandez, Rashford and Weghorst. So that is the 4-2-3 uh, lineup we are expecting uh, today. Some of the few statistics that you know someone has to look for in this game is Arsenal have considered just 14 goals after 18 Premier League matches. Their last time they had considered fewer goals at this stage was in 2023-2004. Uh, Those were 12 goals. Arsenal have won five and lost just one of their last seven Premier League meetings in Ma Manchester United at Emirates. Arsenal have a positive goal difference of plus 28. It's their best ever after 18 games of Premier League season. Manchester United are unbeaten in 10, ga uh, 10 games across all competitions, including their last six in the Premier League. Manchester United have scored in each last 10 Premier League games, but they have only uh, one clean sheet away uh, from home. A player to watch is going to be Thomas Party. My prediction. My prediction on this Arsenal um <laughs> my prediction on this Arsenal Manchester game I'm predicting a 3-1 three, 3 to Arsenal or 1 to Manchester United you can tell me what you're predicting what you think um the game of this magnitude often have uh, differences uh, with an accurate prediction the fact that both teams are in the top form makes it even more challenging but Arsenal may have an upper hand due to the momentum they are carrying. Moreover, my Ateta side has shown no signs of slipping up and uh, seems uh, well uh, driven up. Manchester uh, recently struggled at Emirates. They may come out in this game as a back to back unbeaten run, but uh, Gunners will have the upper hand with their form. So I'm expecting a 3 1 uh, to Manchester you uh, Arsenal scoring the three Manchester having the one so tell me what you think please go to my uh, YouTube channel tell me what you think uh, when it comes to all these games my name is Tita please subscribe to this channel I'll be back with more of the latest information thank you